So, why am I making a YouTube video? Um, I just think that a YouTube video or video in general is a good way to put all of the content together for a trip and I really want to preserve the memory as well in that we have in Alaska because we aren't going to be here forever um, and I just want to uh, like compile everything because you know when you take a bunch of photos and videos it's kind of difficult to remember in the long term like oh you know when did I take that it's just easier to put in video form so that's what I will do of this this video and I will talk about our trip to Valdez, Alaska. So, uh, Valdez, Alaska is a tiny town. Uh, I think they might call themselves a city, but it's about a town of 3,000 people located on the coast of Alaska in Prince William Sound. Uh, Prince William Sound is like the geographic area term for the ocean-ish area there. So anyway, so decided to go to Valdez because it's one of the towns that we haven't been to yet and I'd heard good things about it so we decided to go there for this Memorial Day weekend sort of sort of the weekend that we had uh, free so um, so first off on our trip I'm gonna go kinda gonna talk through it and then we'll put in video as it goes so the first thing that we did was Aiden got off work he didn't have to work Friday so he got off work really late on Thursday and we drove all the way, it's a five hour drive from Anchorage to Valdez, so we drove, we were planning on driving all the way to Valdez. Our initial plan was for me to sleep, um, because I am normally sleep during that time, so we were thinking, I'll sleep while Aiden's driving, and then um, while we get into town, I'll be awake, and then he can sleep for a little bit, and we'll figure stuff out. But things do not go as planned. So first off, I was having trouble falling asleep because first, the mountains and the, sh the road, I, I have some footage of when we came back, but the roads sometimes, there's a period of road where it goes, it's super windy, it's like 25 miles an hour, super windy, up a mountain and then down a mountain and up a mountain again, and I was just so anxious. And sometimes they don't even have like guardrails, and there's just like this giant cutoff that you could easily I'm trying not to worry people it's safe if you're careful okay but I was just being anxious I was like be careful and then um, there's also a thing in Alaska called um, frost heaves I'm pretty sure and that's when um, the road um, because of the weather it becomes actually really bumpy kind of like a roller coaster so after the mountains and we were having those and I just it kept bouncing me awake so um, so we so Valdez um, we had to take the highway to get there the highways are very rural um, and so there's basically like if there's a town there's a gas station if there's no town there's no gas station and everything is very civilization is very far and few between so Palmer is a town uh, one hour outside of Anchorage and then there's Glen Allen and so you have Palmer about a three-hour drive from Palmer to Glen Allen and then from Glen Allen you have a two-hour drive to Valdez Try to go to Valdez, but then Aiden starts to get tired, and I'm like, okay, let's just pull over and we will sleep on the side of the road. So we basically slept on the side of the road. It was beautiful. It was absolutely gorgeous. Um, and it was basically sort of on the outskirts of Wrangell St. Elias National Park, which is the biggest national park in North America. Um, so we slept there, and uh, it was beautiful, really remote. Um, and when I woke up, I, uh, so I woke up, the car was heating, um, and I, I woke up, I was just like, 
I don't know. I, I just wanted to be closer to civilization. It was, so eventually we drive to Valdez. there and we go to the museum. The muse it's known as like the passway into the interior of Alaska which is like Fairbanks so um, a lot of the people basically came into Valdez and then they tried to get a pathway up to the north to get like gold or whatever mineral. Like two really big happenings in the town's history. The first one is the 1964 Good Friday earthquake, which was also followed by a 30 foot tsunami. And that basically wiped up the, wipe it out, wiped out the entire town of Valdez. So they had to reestablish, I don't, I think some parts were still standing, but they're like, okay, we should not be settled here. So they had to reestablish a new town, basically. And then the second incident was the Exxon Valdez oil spill, which I remember learning about in um, history class in high school. A tragic accident where a bunch of oil was spilled into the Prince William Sound, basically, and causing environmental destruction. After that, we decide to go on a walk. Um, there. So we decided to go on this trail. It's called the Homestead Trail. It was super nice. Would recommend it. How cold's the water? Oh. So clear and pretty. Yes, we walked from over there to over here. Well, we went on that bridge. Wait. Yeah. We never went down there. Okay. You are so confused. Yeah, pretty much. After the homesteading trail, we went to eat dinner at this place called The Potato. It's just this roadside area and they have a lot of like fries and potato meals and they were really affordable. Um, would highly recommend. We got, each thing was about 10 bucks which is affordable for Alaska. Um, and then we went on another trail called the Dock Point Trail. Is listed as easy and it sort of is but it's there's a very steep incline and I feel like the older population older people might not be able to do it so take that as you will we um, basically just car camped and spent the night and then we woke up early the next day to go on our cruise that was today I'm 
Kind of walking around us here, you can see a fairly distinctive line. It's right actually about where. Yeah, we saw tons. We saw eagles, mountain goats, uh, seals, sea otters, um, sea lions that were, they make the weirdest sound. They're like, it's like the sound of like a frog. Apparently they're like Alaskan, whatever. Um, the sound of like a frog and a cow combined. It's like, I don't want to say it, but it was really cool. Um, and then after that boat trip, we decided to get dinner. We left Valdez and we decided to just drive home. Um, is getting gas for $5.75 a gallon. Being at uh, these waterfalls that we saw on the way here, they were so pretty. It was probably the most beautiful waterfall I ever saw. Uh, there's two of them. Uh, so, yep, and we're going through, the, it's like a canyon. It's called like Keystone Canyon. Um, and it's a really cool, it's crazy how in Alaska the ecosystems are, you know, it's so giant that the ecosystems are so different and the mountain ranges can be so different. Um, 
so yeah the Keystone Canyon is really pretty and we're literally going into it right now so yeah take videos of it People for reference, random strangers for reference, so you get a grasp on how big it is. Oh wow, there's water in there. Update, Aiden has gone in. I'm too much of, I don't, there's like this dark area. I don't wanna, I don't wanna go in through there. See anything? Don't drop the keys to the car. <laughs> Mosquitoes are the state bird of Alaska. And it looks like bird poop, but I think it's a bunch of mosquitoes. Okay, see cool view of the mountain behind us. It's actually a volcano. I can't zoom in. Anyway, car cleaned off and we're heading. We what? Sora cleaned off. And we're heading to um, we're in Glen Allen, which is one of the very few towns. Um, on the highway and then we're going to home that's a pretty cool mountain okay we have arrived to my absolute least favorite part of this road trip which is these mountains oh my gosh okay. Do we see? Goodbye, Moose. Thank you for not running into us. I don't get why they don't have a guard rail. Because then they ruin the view. I don't. The view. What do you mean? You can see the light. Okay, watch out for the RV. It's pretty, but scary. Update, we are back in civilization. I spotted Taco Bell. <laughs> and uh, we're in Palmer. It's true. That's the update. <laughs>